you did it. I am Miss King. And I'm Miss Tago. We are the Skyline Library Team. We would like to thank you for participating in our school-wide reading initiative, Raiders Read, on September 28th. Raiders Read, you were so successful that we got all classes to participate during the advisory. So, what we're doing every last Wednesday of the month, we will stop and we will have Raiders Read. So, we need you to return your books. And to, how do we return our books? How do we return our books? Once you come to the library, you will take your book and return it to the cart. Then you're going to go back and we need you to read, return, repeat. Read, re repeat it with me. Read, read return, return, repeat. Good morning, Skyline. I am Sofia Hernandez. Today is October 10th and your Skyline Scoop starts right now. Congratulations to our ceramics teacher, Linda Cross. She won three ribbons in the Creative Arts Exhibition at the State Fair of Texas. It is fair time and VPA will be selling fresh cotton candy in the Student Center during A, B, and C lunch during the month of October. Each bag costs $2. Skyline Homecoming Dance is this Saturday. Tickets are now $50 each. Make sure that you bring your ID when purchasing your ticket. They're on sale on the Student Center during all lunches. Homecoming permission forms are available in the main office. You cannot purchase a homecoming ticket for an outside guest unless you have that form signed by the principal of the other school. Join Skyline Debate as we embark on a winning season. We meet Mondays and Wednesdays in the library. Skyline is hosting a Hispanic Heritage Show and is calling for students to showcase their talent. Open to singers, dancers, actors, and musical groups. Please come to auditions and sign up on October 12th or in 13 in G20 after school. National Hispanic Heritage Month, Hispanic Pioneers. Today's Dallas Independent School District Spotlight is on Wildram Andrade Matamoros. Teacher of the Year winner in the primary school category. Born in Honduras, Wilhelm Andrade Matamoros moved to Dallas at the age of nine and was enrolled at Luis Wolf Kahn Elementary in Dallas ISD. Eleven years later, she would return to the same school, this time as a first year bilingual teacher. Her dream when she was five years old was to be an orgullo hispano, someone Hispanic people could look up to. She is grateful for the opportunity to teach in Dallas ISD and to work in the community where she grew up. Andrade Matamoros has been a leader in initiating and implementing impactful writing and social emotional strategies on her campus, while also serving as the campus activity coordinator and coach for academic teams. Our International Hispanic Pioneer Spotlight is on Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo del Toro Gomez was born on October 9, 1964. He is a Mexican filmmaker, author, and actor. He directed the Academy Award-winning fantasy films Pan's Labyrinth and The Shape of Water, winning the Academy Awards for Best Director and Best Picture for the latter. Throughout his career, del Toro has shifted between personal, lower-budget Spanish language films and Hollywood blockbusters. His work has been characterized by a strong connection to fairy tales and horror, with an effort to infuse visual or poetic beauty in the grotesque. He has had a lifelong fascination with monsters, which he considers symbols of great power. He is also known for his use of insectile and religious imagery, the themes of Catholicism and celebrating imperfection, underworld and clockwork motifs, practical special effects, dominant amber lighting, and his frequent collaborations with actors Ron Perlman 
and Doug Jones. Del Toro is close friends with fellow Mexican filmmakers Alfonso Cuaron and Alejandro Iñárritu, and they are collectively known as the Three Amigos of Cinema. He was included in Time Magazine's list of the most 100 influential people in the world in 2018, and he received a motion picture star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2019. That's it for today. Make sure and tune in tomorrow for more Hispanic Pioneer Spotlights. Students, just a reminder that badges are to be worn every day. Please put them around your neck and have them visible. Y'all ladies who may be interested in, the, in being part of the 10 times girls state track and field team, you are in luck. Girls track team will have their mandatory after school practices starting October 31st at 4.30 p.m. To try out in November, you must attend mandatory practices, have an updated physical and reg one completed. If you have any questions, see Coach JJ inside the small gym. This week is the end of our first grading period. Make sure to have your, that you have submitted all your work and finished strong. On Wednesday, October 12th, all sophomores with a select group of freshmen and juniors will have the opportunity to take the PSAT and National, National Merit Scholarship qualifying test, an important step along your path to college. All testers must be in their testing room by 9, 10 a.m. or you will not be allowed to test. It is very important for you to be on time Wednesday, October 12th for this test. Please check your student email for any additional information regarding to the PSAT. October is Dyslexia Awareness Month. Did you know that there's a lot of famous actors that are dyslexic, such as Henry Winkler, Danny Glover, Tom Cruise, and Keanu Reeves, and Billy Bob Thornton? Stay tuned for more fun facts about dyslexia. That's all we have for today. I'm Sofia Hernandez. You haven't seen the last of me. Hasta la vista, baby.